All right, what's going on everybody? So today I'm challenging a pastry chef from a five-star restaurant to a bake-off. We're making pumpkin pie and she's using her own bougie recipe while I'm using the simplest recipe that I can find on Google because I don't know how to bake. I bet I can make a pie that's as good as hers. It really doesn't seem that complicated. It's just pumpkin and pie. It's two things. It's just two things. All right, so this is Chi, the pastry chef. Been working at Park restaurant for seven years. Oh my God. This is my first time making pastry and I am attempting to make pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, bro, this is not Starbucks. <laughs> pumpkin pie. Okay, you think you're gonna be better than me? Oh, for sure, I gotta beat you. So the time starts now. <laughs> I need flour, okay. You already have your butter cut up in pieces? By the way, I had no clue. She came in with all her ingredients measured, scaled. I don't even know how much flour I need for this recipe. What is one milliliter in grams? Butter and sugar? My recipe says 302 grams. Just make it 300 grams. One tablespoon of sugar. Shit, which one is one tablespoon? Sugar is good for you. One teaspoon of salt. Where's my bougie salt? Go. Mix it well until it's become a dough. You're already done? Done, baby. What the Look hell? Look at this. Look at him. Where are you now? <laughs> it's been eight minutes and she's already done her dough. I don't even know which part I am in the process. Try to flat the dough. Okay. Put it in the fridge. This makes no sense. Damn it. Bro, you eat help real quick? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm doing this wrong. So, okay. Chief, what should I do right now? Inside, I have baking powder. Wait, what baking powder? So, you can do by hand. It feels like cheese. A little bit more. The touch of pastry chef, everything gonna be perfect. It's like her versus herself. Do you want more water? No, no, no. I'm gonna put it in here. Fold it in. Here you go. All right, so we have to leave our dough in the fridge for about 20 minutes. But we got no time for this. So we have pre-made dough. She made dough yesterday and I bought pre-made dough from the grocery shop. She's so prepared. She even has an apron. <laughs> I have a sweater. Okay. Not too thin, but not too thick. How did you do that thing? It smells like pasta. What the hell? Okay, we're getting somewhere. This is just so that it doesn't stick, right? Yeah. Pushing the dough in. I don't know if I'm doing this properly, but it feels right. So, on the edges, going around. You need help? No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. I know what I'm doing, no stress. Beautiful. Bake 400 degrees for 15 to 18 minutes. Okay. Pumpkin puree, cream, six egg yolk, brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, powder, and one teaspoon of agar agar. And the liquid. Mixing it. I'm not sure if this is the right amount. This looks right. It looks like hers. Two eggs. One yolk. So basically what I have in here, okay? Pumpkin puree, evaporated milk, and two and a half baby chickens. Teaspoon of brown and ginger. One and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. One, two. A quarter teaspoon of brown cloves. Tastes like sh Well, since this tastes like butt residue, I'm just gonna put a little bit. A pinch of nutmeg. 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 There you go. Now I'm gonna whisk this entire thing. So here's my mix. Now I'm just waiting for my dough to be semi-ready because I'm not fully cooking it. I'm just like, you know, like baking it slightly and then I'll cook it one more time with the filling. Hold on, I got a problem here. Mine's like rising. So we have a problem. I'm missing pieces here. I have a hole here and another hole here. If I put my filling, I think that it's gonna leak. So I'm gonna try to patch it up right now. I feel like the parts that I'm gonna add in are gonna be undercooked and the rest is gonna be overcooked. But it's better than having a dying pie. Honestly, if you're a professional pastry chef or whatever, don't, don't watch it. Stop the video right now. I'm gonna patch you up, buddy. Patch you up real nice. This doesn't look right at all. It's fine. Everything's fine. You see? Pashed up. Now I'm gonna add it back in the oven. Look at her pie crust. It looks beautiful. Mine does not look like the best thing ever. So this is hers and this is mine. Oh my God. It's not always about looks. Sometimes what matters is what's inside. Maybe I put in more love than her. We'll see at the end result, okay? All right, the moment of truth. Here's my pie, here's my filling. It's really not that bad. Jeez! Oh my god! So now I warm it up. When it starts boiling, we're gonna pull in the pie. I'm gonna strain it. 
So very crumbly. Two different recipe. He yeah. is very flaky. My very crumbly. I'm gonna add chili bean. It smells so good. Alright. Now we're gonna put in the fridge and let it set. Okay, so at this point, both of our pies will be done in about 30 minutes. So in the meantime, we're gonna combine her leftover pumpkin pie crust with my leftover pumpkin pie filling to make a bonus pie. <laughs> Press it down. Easy, no? Yeah. Trim the edges. So now use the finger, try to push it up a little bit. That's it. Wow, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you don't, don't have a hole, okay? okay. Alright, so I'm gonna check on mine now. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. Wow. Look at that. Oh. oh my god, it's crumbling. All right, so here's the final result. This is obviously mine. It's all cracked. This is cheese, no cracks. And this is the combination of both of our apple pies. We're gonna decorate it now. I have a bit of cinnamon, sugar, <laughs> pumpkin seeds. Wow, it's not bad. A little wiggle. Whipped cream. Here you have it. So you're gonna add a bit of sugar. Pumpkin seeds. Cinnamon powder. Wow. <laughs> this is mine, this is hers. So she's tasting mine, and I'm gonna taste hers, and we'll see which one is better. Cheers. Wow. Mm. Oh. I could destroy this entire thing. This is unbelievable. Oh my god, this is so good. Mm. <laughs> Actually, it's not bad, the feeling, but I feel like missing a little bit of uh, sugar, but uh, the texture is not bad. Let me try mine. That's why I say the feeling is not bad. It's not even sweet. Missing, missing the sugar, that's what I mean. I'm gonna give her pie a 9.6 out of 10 <laughs> and mine a 1.38. I would give you like 5 because honestly you're not a pastry chef so cannot expect so much from you. Mm. This is insane. We're gonna try the one that we made together now. Is it uh, maybe? <laughs> but it all right, so she's the clear winner. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh yeah, check out her Instagram. You can see all her posts and everything that she bakes. See you guys next week. Thank you, bye-bye. So um, we both agree that uh, we can put both of mine in the garbage? Yeah.